Blog Talk Radio. on Blog Talk Radio. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm your host, Edie Summers, and I am very excited today. Uh, my very special guest is Margaret Moore, and Margaret Moore is the founder and CEO of Well Coaches, and some of you might have heard me talking about this. Um, of course, my show is named The Wellness Coach, and <laughs> my very first show I talked about what is wellness coaching, and I'm, I'm hoping to, maybe we can get a clearer definition from Margaret today, since she's the um, the leader in this field. Um, so, of course, wellness coaching is this this amazing field that's um, that's been around for. I'll have to confirm with Margaret. I think it's been maybe a little over ten years now. Um, but um, before I bring, uh, well, actually, Margaret, let let me let, let's let me ask you that question, and then before I introduce you here, um, what officially introduce you? What is the length that wellness coaching has been going on for? It's brand new, isn't it? Yes, well, thanks, Edie. It's, it's great to be here. Yeah, I was. Um, I, I do remember the day I started in 2000, so that's 14 mm-hmm. years ago, um, and oh, built the first school of coaching for health professionals. And um, there were four of us back then: um, Michael Orlowski, <laughs> uh, Bob Merberg, uh, Sean Slavensky, mm-hmm. and me. And we all did different things, but we mm-hmm. were the you know the original band of coaches in healthcare. Um, my background is, in fact, in the biotech industry. Um, right. So I, I grew up in the field of high-tech medicine and came into seeing coaching. I really had a vision, which is that we needed a new professional in, across the spectrum, mm-hmm. clinical, healthcare, right across to consumer wellness and fitness, that could really help people change when change is hard. And mm-hmm. um, our ability to change our lifestyles and to live in a way that serves our health um, is, uh, has never been harder. So this is a mm-hmm. much-needed skill set for the world today. Yes, thank you. And I just I, that and that was very well said. Thank you. Um, and that that I feel very. Um, when you describe it that way, it's it kind of lights the the fire underneath me. And isn't that kind of the point? Is to get people or is to assist people in getting excited and motivated and passionate about um, changing some health habits. Isn't that sort of the whole? Well, we're, we are here? really leaving a huge amount of human potential on the table and behind us because. Um, there are two important data points that are um, compelling, actually three. Um, one is that 95% of us don't engage in the top health behaviors, so things like uh, being at an ideal weight, exercising regularly, eating a Mediterranean diet, um, mm-hmm. drinking moderately, not smoking. So, so, And all of those behaviors are known to prevent chronic disease and lead to a longer life uh, uh, and, and a longer health span in that, you know, more years with great health. So, so that's the first point. The second, though, which I think is the bigger one, is that 80% of the population are not thriving mentally. Roughly 60% mm. are surviving, which mm. means just, you know, barely hit with your head over, uh, above water. And then another 26% at the bottom are languishing or even depressed. And, and mm. we now know that um, chronic negative emotions all by their, themselves impair the gene expression in the immune system, they stress the nervous system, they stress the endocrine, the hormonal system that lead us to be prematurely vulnerable to whatever our biological flaws are for a particular chronic disease. You know, for some of Mm. that, that becomes diabetes, for some it's heart disease, for some it's chronic pain. So wherever we've got weak links in our genes, um, then the chronic negative stress is going to find those, create additional stress, and speed up the process of us getting ill. And so, mm-hmm. so we need more positive emotions, and we need better ways of handling our negative emotions so that our health is better. Um, and then just as an interesting study out right now um, in the heart, um, heart attack world where the question was, you know, people who exercise after a heart attack 
do much better. You know, their risk of getting another heart attack and dying early is is significantly reduced. Well, a new study just shows that it, it what it, in fact is the uh, stimulus for that to happen is that people have to have a sufficient level of positive emotions in their lives to start exercising. So they have to be more hopeful and optimistic and purposeful and and loving their life and connecting with people and doing what they love to do. And they need to be thriving more. And then they just naturally want to exercise, which then mm-hmm. improves the disease condition. In fact, both do the better mental health and physical health. So, so we have a lot of room for improvement, both in terms of the physical side and the uh, mental and emotional side. And, and also we need to pull them all together as a package because they're all intertwined. Um, and so today, 14 years later, we've now got robust curriculum for teaching coaches how to help clients do this, both at basic and advanced levels. And Well Coaches has trained almost 8,000 coaches in 47 countries. So it's a small army out there that is really <laughs> helping people thrive yes. more. Absolutely, and and thank you for mentioning that. Um, and I, so I want to do. Um, there are so many points, of course, that you mentioned there that are amazing that I, I definitely want to um, talk about a little bit more. And of course, I want to mention um, the book that you co-authored, "Organize Your Mind, Organize Your Life." Um, train your brain to get done, more done in less time, and which is a fabulous book. And of course, actually, you've authored many. You also authored, co-authored the 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 wellness coaching manual that I read to get certified for well coaches, which is a wonder. I absolutely love that manual, by the way. Um, but I'm going to do really um, briefly here, Margaret. Um, I'm going to formally introduce you um, so that people have a background. Um, really briefly of where you're coming from. You mentioned some of it um, in the biotech, biotechnology industry, but I just want to give people a general overview. And then let's just, if you don't mind, let's dive just a little bit deeper um, into this amazing, vibrant field of wellness coaching, which is very much alive today. And um, it's, we're, we're all, the, the wellness coaches here today are, we're ready for people to, um, to come on board with us and, and really to help guide people um, into a, a whole new level of living, essentially. There's, as you were saying, there's like so much untapped potential. There is. And, and the other theme, um, now that we know that we need to address both the positive emotions and the negative emotions in people's lives in order to get to a place where we have the, the capacity to change and be resilient, because that's, you know, the thing to say about the fact that pe- few people are thriving is that what that means is that they just don't have the juice to change. Mm-hmm, their, um, exactly. their confidence okay. is low. And so, right. so even if you wanted to lose weight and manage your stress and get more healthy and get more fit, you, you can't because you're underwater mentally. Okay. And okay. Um, you just don't have enough positivity. So, so, so that's interesting. Now, the other, so then the, the new book, the Organize Your Mind, Organize Your Life book, is yeah. a neuroscience-based book. It's a Harvard Health book. I wrote it with a Harvard psychiatrist. And, um, and then we're actually writing the second book now, too, which may be called something like Organize Your Emotions, Organize Your Life. Oh, now, beautiful. Now, yeah. where, we're, where we're getting at is, is we're getting a, enough understanding of how the brain functions, and I'd say it's very um, superficial understanding, but we're getting a much better understanding of how the brain learns and what the optimal conditions for the brain to learn are. Um, and by that mean, so if, we're, if you're going to change your life, ch- change your habits, upgrade mm-hmm. your way of life, that means your brain is going to change. Um, there are the, the way that changes is via um, a collection over time of insights and ideas which then lead to new connections in the brain. Um, and over time, that creates a new network, and then you get to a place where you've really changed for good, where you've made lasting change. Mm, and now okay. we have some sense of what the ingredients are. What are the conditions to allow that brain learning to happen? Mm-hmm. And the first Organize Your Mind book laid out a whole process around helping people tame the frenzy, the, the negative emotions, which impair the brain's ability to learn. They impair right. the ability to be focused, to deal with distractions, to remember, to be creative, to be strategic. Um, to, so, so the negativity, it just doesn't make us feel bad and, and lead to chronic disease. It's actually mm-hmm. harming cognitive function. And, so, and we have too right. much of it today. So, so we have to do that. Then we have to help people focus. And some of us are, have more creative minds where this is a bigger challenge. Some of us have very focused minds where this is, in fact, um, 
uh, uh, has a weakness on the other side because we tend to filter out the creativity, and we tend mm. to, you know, we we actually are not good mm. at being creative because we don't we don't take the, you know, we we sit in this extreme focus for hours and hours a day. That's my my challenge. Um, so mm. you got to know how to use your brain so that you get the right balance of focus and creativity. Um, and and that and that the, and basically the book has six steps that take you up to the big picture. So that book is in fact a model for a coaching session or a coaching process where yes. we really simply are helping our clients organize their minds to get to the strategic big picture and um, and grow. You know, get onto mm. a higher plane of existence where mm. in whatever domain we want and, to do that. And so that could be another answer for what is wellness coaching because um, did, I, did I mention this? This is the question I get asked all the time, and I, I, I really love the way, way you just described um, the book, your book, Organize Your Mind, Organize Your Life. Um, that's almost a beautiful definition for what is wellness coaching right there. It's kind of like a, um, kind of facilitating the process, organizing your mind so that you can exist at a higher level do you think that, I mean, to me, that resonates yeah, with, so I, I, think, I would say it's changing your health habits. So. Yeah, <laughs> and, it, and it, it, is cha- it is changing health habits. That includes <laughs> mental and physical health habits, yeah. But that's, mm-hmm. but that's, the, um, that's, the, that's, the, uh, that's the what. You know, let's right. think about why, how, and, and, and what, even when, so, and who. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. start with the why. So I think that first... Um, wellness is kind of an abstract uh, principle in the dictionary. It says mm-hmm. optimal health and well-being. Well-being says the same thing. Wellness is, you know, they, they, uh, health says the same thing. They all come back to this. This is optimal physical and mental health. Okay, so don't we all want that? Um, um, so two points to make. One is optimal health is just the means to the end. The end is why the heck you care about it. You know, what, what mm-hmm. is it about your health that yeah. you treasure? Because it's yeah. not the end. It's the means. The means to have the life you want. The life you want is however you want to make a difference, whatever your legacy is that you want to leave, um, what your contribution, what your special special um, um, gifts are, you know, what the higher purpose of your life, which in itself is a form of positivity that improves immune system function, for example. So mm-hmm. the, wh- the why, why am I doing this? Um, is actually the first question because people don't value their health today. They put other things ahead mm-hmm. because we don't stop and, well, first, you know, once we lose it, then we do care. Uh, and, and it's a terrible, terrible crisis when right. our health, we have a health right. crisis. Exactly. But, but you really have to start with um, why do I care about my wellness because it is not the end. And, and mm-hmm. that's the starting point. This okay. sounds like you want to jump in there, Edie. Oh my goodness! No, I think I really love how you say that. Um, that it's it's not that. So I think a lot of people do think, um, and this is I think been kind of my my mindset as well, thinking in terms of wellness coaching that it is the end, and it's not. It's just the beginning, and it's it's like a platform so that you can live your life at the highest level. Um, that's it's just it's becoming very clear to me now that that's it's a jumping off point. It's kind of like the well, um, and what, a new and what set we, point. It, it, well, it basically is saying, what's the next level of existence for me to be thriving? So, so here, mm-hmm. let me say something about thriving because I'm a biologist first, and so I mm-hmm. think about, mm-hmm. I, I think about, you know, what it, what are the um, principles or the biological forces within each of us that are our formula for thriving? Um, so, for instance, for me, I have a real strong need for autonomy and achievement and adventure. Mm-hmm. Okay, that makes me a dr- hard driving person. <laughs> you know, as opposed to others that might be more leaning towards creativity and relationships and, and spirituality. You know, we've all got mm-hmm. different um, particular genetic strengths, the ones that the, the dominant mm-hmm. strengths in us. And, yeah. and, and that, what that means is that for me to thrive, I need to be using those and doing well with them. I need to be taking care of, you know, the needs of all the different parts of me, my physical body, my um, achievement, my, you know, I do need to be creative. I do need to have some spiritual connections, you know, blah, 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 blah. So there's a, so there's a set <laughs> formula. Just like a flower has a formula to thrive, you mm-hmm. know, with the right yeah. amount of sun and, and mm-hmm. um, um, soil and nutrients and water um, and not mm-hmm. too much wind. And when a flower gets everything it needs, what do you see? It blooms. It blossoms. It's the, the mm-hmm. face. The face of the flower just 
lights up beautifully. It's the same mm-hmm. with humans. There's a certain mm-hmm. set of conditions that allow us to bloom and blossom and light up. And mm-hmm. and and it's <laughs> the only person that can figure out what that is is ourselves. You know, it's an uh-huh, experimental yes. process. Because our genes all got piled on top of each other. You know, we got a little bit from Aunt May and another bit from, you know, and they land in you as a human being, and you're trying to figure out what makes me feel good, like what makes me tick, Mm -hmm. what is it that makes me thrive, and then how can I, and that I call your life force, and then how can you pour that Mm -hmm. life force into something good that you really want to achieve in life? Um, Mm -hmm. whatever that looks like, raising a family, you know, how do you take that life force which is born with and how do you pour it into building skills and competency and achievement in places that matter to you so that most days you say, darn it, I took what I'm good at and I used it well and I made a difference and I am Mm going to celebrate that. Mm. And and isn't the celebrating part is just as important um, as as sharing your gifts um, and really getting in that zone with um, the it's almost like um, the that well being does feel good. I just saw this the other day on the internet. It feels good, and I think that's that is part of the missing piece for people. I mean, also and so some of the salient points here um, that that maybe um, we want, really want to focus on is um, for you know for the beginner who's just now just just getting a a grasp of what we've been talking about here is focusing on positive emotions and we're building confidence, which is also known as self-efficacy. So, um, and that, that's what really gives you the, like you're saying, the ability, the, the juice to um, take your life to the next level where you can then share your gifts with the world and, and contribute to the world. So, um, so I wanted to, if it's okay with you, Margaret, I'm going to take a really, really short break and I'm going to come back and introduce you. And then, um, Let's let's go a little bit deeper into I don't know one something that that is I'm open to anything. Um, we have so many topics here, um, but is there I don't know if there's anything that you want to go a little bit deeper into. Um, I didn't even know that you were a biologist. Maybe I did know that, but I'd forgotten. I love the gene expression part of this. Um, that you know that what is going to um, allow your body to. Um, express itself in the fullest capacity, but also turn off gene expression, right, in certain circumstances that we're going to prevent, at least at least hopefully give your body a fighting chance to prevent chronic disease down the road. So, um, again, right. just we have am- amazing topics here. Um, I'm going to take a short break and come back and introduce Margaret. Um, you're listening to The Wellness Coach on Block Talk Radio. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to The Wellness Coach on Blog Talk Radio. I'm your host, Edie Summers, and I've been having just the most amazing conversation with uh, the very vibrant um, and uh, and very, I would say, self-actualized Margaret Moore. Margaret Moore has an MBA. She's also known as Coach Meg. She is a 17-year veteran of the biotechnology industry in the U.K., Canada, U.S., and France. She served in executive roles at three companies, which later joined Sanofi and and served as CEO and COO of two early-stage biotech companies. In 2000, Margaret shifted from high-tech medicine to coaching in healthcare and wellness and founded Well Coaches Corporation, strategic partner of the American College of Sports Medicine, now a standard bearer for professional coaches in healthcare and wellness. The Well Coaches School of Coaching has trained more than 75,000 health and wellness coaches in 47 countries. Margaret is co-founder with Carol Kaufman and co-director of the Institute of Coaching at McLean Hospital, an affiliate of Harvard Medical School, and co-course director of the annual Coaching in Leadership and Healthcare Conference offered by Harvard Medical School. Margaret's collaboration with Edward Phillips, MD, to create a Harvard Medical School CME program to teach physicians basic coaching skills led to the launch of the Institute of Lifestyle Medicine, now based at Jocelyn Diabetes Center, of which Margaret is an advisor. She is co-founder and co-leader of the National Consortium for Credentialing Health and Wellness Coaches, which is developing national standards and certification of health and wellness coaches. And again, Margaret has 
her book out um, that she co-authored with Paul Hammerness. I hope I'm saying his name correctly. Um, it's called Organize Your Mind, Organize Your Life, Train Your Brain to Get More Done in Less Time. And, of course, I remember, I remember Margaret, you saying that this is actually um, – you said it today in our interview, but also I've heard you say it before, that this book is really kind of like the first – I mean, it's a book on wellness coaching, essentially. Um, so it's, this is, it's a fabulous book. Well, you know, it's it is it, it wasn't set out that way. Uh, although I was in, obviously okay. invited to bring in the coaching piece, but but what happened in my process of understanding what were the rules of order that uh, my psychiatrist colleague came up with is it became clear mm-hmm. that that I could organize these in a way that actually mapped to what yes. coaches do. And um, for years I've been saying that coaches help people organize their minds, that we help mm-hmm. people go from psychic mm-hmm. confusion and overwhelm, which most of us are in today, into mm-hmm. order. And an individual session is always going from, you know, I'm I'm feeling chaotic and I know I want to up my game physically, mentally, and and I, and I leave at the end of the session with more energy. Um, I'm working on a project with people with fibromyalgia right now, and you can imagine that when you start with someone with chronic pain, they are low. Um, And and our goal is to create a session and a series of sessions over time that, in fact, really bring out their life force and their energy. Mm -hmm. Um, And Mm -hmm. so that is is, um, exactly, that is, coaches are basically people, we are biological beings, there are mm-hmm. there's a recipe for for thriving it has to do with taking care of one's body well you know good good high octane fuel um mm. and um and exercise moving is is you know perhaps the first of the, all of the wellness behaviors um mm-hmm. and then of course you can get on to sleep and and um and everything to do with negative emotions mindfulness self compassion so there's all those skills um okay. and then and then um and then there's the process of bringing order to from to chaos over time so that people then get really clear okay I want to thrive more. Maybe, you know, they may not want to set the bar at a 10 out of 10, but maybe they want to go from a 3 to a 6. Uh, mm-hmm. I want to thrive more. I feel like I'm underwater and I'm I'm leaving energy on the table. I'm not at my best. I'm not I'm I'm actually not investing enough in myself to be at my best for others. And so, how am I going to do that? And and then they're experimenting over time with a set of habits. Um, coming back to your notion about you know you're changing your habits habits and mm-hmm. you just you basically just experience that and say ah did that make a difference here did I feel more more life in me did my eyes light up did I is there a spring in my step or did that one not work I you know I did it for two mm-hmm. weeks and nothing happened um, and so over a span of usually three months or so with with um, a session every you know one to two, three weeks, depending. I mean, I usually work with my clients once a month. Others do twice a month. Others do more. It just depends on the client and the coach. But but basically, over time, you're getting to, at least by three months, you really want to have a new formula for thriving, which is improving physical health, improving mental health, and, and improving your performance in your life. And mm-hmm. And then, of course, you can continue to build on that so that a year from now, you really have overhauled your life. And you... Mm-hmm are you you you're accessing your life force you are alive you feel good you um are actively engaged in the things that make you feel good and you've never done better at work at home Mm -hmm. um and here you know often the belief is that people start with is that i can't put my health first because my performance in life will suffer you know, I won't have enough time for my family. Yeah. I won't have enough time. I won't. And and the other end of the 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 uh, growth, the, the the higher plane of existence here is that you get to a place where you say, oh, OMG, when I put my health, <laughs> I've never been better. Yes, yes, it really is the platform, and it's and I wonder why. I mean, this is ex- and this is another reason why wellness coaching is is work so well, and especially I would say the well coaches model. I mean, you guys have really done your homework here. I mean, you've really come up with a formula. It's based on evidence-based practice, correct, That's that has a proven track record with, what was it, like 70% of people that you guys have worked with? I mean, it's it's phenomenal. Like, I think that the issue here is that people – there is this place where people have gotten stuck in it, and part of it is like the primal mind that the primal brain that you've been talking about, right? Like where we get stuck in negative emotions and fear and anxiety and and stress and all the things that 
that modern life, well, primitive life, any kind of life is going to bring up. But we have the ability, and I would say wellness coaching is really great for this, to move beyond that and to come into to to operate more from our 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 advanced brains, right, our prefrontal cortex, where we do have the ability to filter out information and say. That's not real. This I can focus on this instead. And and what is it? Is it the is it a three to one ratio of positive emotions to negative, or is it higher? Is it five to one? It's we have to. It's really about creating more positive emotions and and building that confidence level, so that we can yeah, exactly. make changes. The, the, the purpose of the purpose of positive emotions isn't just to feel good. It's because we <laughs> need them in order to handle the negative ones. Because the negative emotions okay. are our teachers. You know, that's the hard, that's the, mm. those are the hard lessons in life, the things that don't go the way you want them, you know, that, that mm-hmm. don't meet your needs, the things that make you feel whatever, your negative emotions are, are simply biological messengers telling you that you have a need that's not being met. And, ah, and yes. That is that is life. You know, you've got the positive emotions telling you needs are being met and negative emotions telling you needs aren't being met. If you've got too many negative emotions, then you've got a lot of needs that you're not meeting pro, need, meeting well, and they're mm-hmm. a sign that there's room for improvement. And okay. and that and they're and and they're really a, they're a, you know when a baby cries, it simply wants to be held and get mm-hmm. its need met. And our own neg- our negative emotions are similar. They're crying babies. They're looking to get their needs met. And um, and the wonderful work by Kristen Neff, who gave us a recipe for handling negative emotions, where you basically lean into them rather than run away or deny or resist uh, or avoid. Yes. And, yes. You, and you really, you know, cross your hands over your heart and say, look, I'm suffering. I'm a human being, and that comes with suffering. And, I, you know, I feel overwhelmed today. I'm annoyed at something. I'm um, sad that this didn't work out that way. I'm afraid that, you know, I'm not going to get my bonus you know we've got all these emotions and they need our care they need our tender loving care they need us to sit mm-hmm. with them a little bit every day so that they can settle and um mm-hmm. and and then the positive emotions can grow which is that i am grateful for what i have and i i do see the silver linings here you know in the bay in you know that i can be curious and figure out what to learn about the negativity so you're basically learning it's sort of you know in a way in dan goldman's um language it's a form coaching is a form of building emotional intelligence because we're helping people oh. use their emotions as the signposts hmm. to tell the, to tell us what's working and what's not wow and kind of, and what to shift oh god and it's and a, a wellness coach can be a mirror for you essentially i mean a guide as well but a mirror really it's like we're kind of holding up a mirror so that you can see oh this is this is where i may be a little bit stuck and it's okay it's okay like we have tools we have tools that we can um meet these needs and then and not only meet your needs but move and move beyond that and thrive so there's a whole, again what we were we've been talking about there's a whole other level that we can go to Right. So let me just pick up on that. So the, the reflection okay. um, is an important one because what we're doing is people are rushing around and they're not sitting and reflecting. So we create an oasis of a few moments where they really get to stand back and say, what the heck's going on here? And we're actually helping them sit with that for a bit so that they can get mm-hmm. some clarity about a deeper understanding of what is really going on instead of rushing around um, in, a, in circles. The second thing, though, is that the way we radiate our presence, so for instance, you know, we, wanna, we are also role models. We are in a very mindful yeah. place. We are full of zest. We are curious without judgment. We are um, uh, compassionate. We're courageous. You know, we take a risk from time to time. We're fun. We have fun. Um, and... <laughs> And when you Very have two important. people whose whose brains are in sync in chemistry, mm-hmm. they sync up. So that means that when mm, we put out right. some humor and some hmm. zest and more confidence for a moment, the client says, "Oh, I actually, I'm you know, I'm soaking some of that up. I get, I'm getting yes. a bit of it. It's yes. like you're charging their batteries." So we're helping ah. create the space for reflection, but we're also radiating out the human energies that help people feel better and not mm-hmm. alone mm-hmm. and more optimistic and more confident and more creative. So um, so where the way we are being is also delivering thriving or more thriving even in uh, in a session. Mm, I just, that is so well said, and thank you for saying that, um, for kind of reminding um, people that are already wellness coaches um, how they're 
you know, it is kind of like helping to charge someone else's battery and also being a role model, which is beautiful. And, Margaret, I want to respect your time here. So um, I just want to, um, first of all, if anyone wants to either work with a wellness coach or become a wellness coach, um, how could they go, go about doing that? Uh, well, um, so if you go to wellcoaches.com, uh, at the top we've got our uh, core coach training programs. There's a core one and then an advanced one. So those are listed there. And then in the middle you'll see a button called Find a Wellness Coach. Um, and you can uh, tour around across the country um, and look at the bios of different coaches. Or you can just come to contact us mm-hmm. and send us an email and tell us what you're looking for. Um, and um, And we'll be there to help you. Perfect. And I highly, highly recommend um, doing well coaches for wellness coaching training as well, of course, if someone is thinking about going down that road. Go ahead. Well, you were going to say something. We, we've been at it for a long time, and we're creative souls with big hearts, and yes. we've just done a huge upgrade of our core training. Um, and, you know, there's so much great new science coming out all the time that mm. – um, there's lots of new stuff to keep learning. So we mm, welcome everyone, yes. whether you want to become a coach or work with a coach. Um, if you're feeling the itch to stretch, <laughs> to stretch <laughs> your brain, to mm. you know, find your life source, uh, source and get healthier physically, mentally, so you can kind of get up to the higher level of existence, then um, we're here to help you. Um, wonderful, yes. And I, I can't... Um can't rave enough about well coaches and um, Margaret is there so is there any kind of takeaway that you want to leave our listeners with and also any upcoming events anything that you just want to close with today that's um, that's maybe relevant for you well stay tuned I've got a new um, book underway that's the next Harvard Health book that um, and um, it's based on a paper a hypothesis paper that I published in July um, mm-hmm. around the makeup, makeup of the psyche. And um, and it's a whole new way of thinking about thriving. It's a blow-your-mind kind of thing. Wow. Um, and oh, you can, um, I, I don't know if you have a way to post it on your website, but maybe we could do that. It's, um, sure. it's not, it's still, it's still very much a new idea, but if you're okay. just curious about, you know, how the hell is the psyche made up? Um, <laughs> I've got an interesting theory about that, which will blow your mind and is wow. uh, is beginning to be a whole new foundation for the way we think about coaching in the coming years. So that's wow. My cutting edge, and I say that because Exciting. I think we all have to have a cutting edge. You know, there's mm. you just can't stand still. One of the ways we thrive mm-hmm. as human beings is to be ever learning and and creating and doing new things and being curious and being engaged in the world and reading and um, staying fresh, keeping the brain alive. Um, so that's my uh, modus operandi, and I hope the same mm. for everybody who's listening today. Wonderful. Well, that is that. Talk about a high note. Um, ha, that's very exciting, and I, I, can't, I definitely can't wait to learn more about that. And um, I just want to thank you so much for being here today, Margaret. Um, it's just, it's really my honor, and I just want to thank you for everything that you've done and are continuing to do um, in the field of. Um, you were, we're talking about lifestyle medicine here. This is really. There's. This is. Um, I don't want to open up another conversation here because I know you have to go, but but really we're talking about this is a whole other a whole new way of that people can um, stay well is is lifestyle medicine here. So I just I want to thank you for being a leader in this field and for um, sharing your sharing your gifts with us. So. You're so welcome. Well, the, the the reality is that at least half of our mental and physical thriving and performance is under our control. Mm-hmm. We have a lot to yeah. bring to this equation and. And you got to get mind, you got to get brain and body working together um, mm. for the for mm. the higher good. So um, <laughs> you might want to share my um, my uh, Coach Maggie tips that I just put out this week. Um, oh, sure. As, uh, there's a link to that because I have some okay. um, some interesting ideas and a little music as well. So and a free oh. webinar on uh, how to make meaning of life. Oh, wonderful! And your 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 presentations, your webinars, your um, powerpoints are fantastic. And you, you, I think you have a lot of those out. It seems I'm always finding we something do. that yeah, we I have find very relevant. So, well, I'll I'll go ahead and post those. Um, I'll get the links from either from you or Kristen. And um, I just want to thank thanks again for being here. And I hope that you have a fabulous day there on the on the East Coast. <laughs> Well, thank you, Edie, for getting this together. It was a pleasure to meet you. I hope I meet you on the West Coast soon. Me too. It's a pleasure to well, it's a pleasure to talk to you too. And um, 
yes, I just um thank you again and um yeah, just um we're it's a whole new world, right? So <laughs> it is. Onward and upward as I say. <laughs> yes. Yes, okay. thank you. Yes, thank good thank stuff. you, Margaret. I will hopefully talk to thank or you. talk to you or see you soon. Thank you. Okay, okay. good. Bye. Bye.